Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be checking out the live enhancement suite for Ableton Live. And what this is, is it's a standalone tool that adds functionality on top of Ableton. And it's not intrusive. It doesn't involve changing any configuration files or, um, you know, hacking the EXE or adding a DLL or doing anything suspect. Um, it's just a, a thing that you install, um, and what it does, as far as I know, is it's kind of similar to an automation tool, so it takes control of your mouse and keyboard and inputs things super duper fast, and uh, that's basically what it does, and yeah, it, with that being said, since it's so in, uh, unintrusive, it uh, works for a vast variety of versions of Ableton Live. So we don't have that to worry about. So it adds lots of cool functionality. So let's hop into it. So like I said, it does it in a, in a non-intrusive way. And how you get the menus is you double right click, which is something that Ableton, you know, doesn't reserve that, uh, that function. And uh, yeah, double right click is pretty easy to do. You just double right click uh, down here in the uh, instrument or well, the, the instrument area of Ableton. You have our instruments here and we have Serum, and we can uh, click that, and it will drop in Serum automatically. So how it does that, as far as I know, is it says you want Serum, so it'll go and search for Serum uh, in the uh, search query here. Serum will come up, and it'll add that in. And uh, a really cool thing they probably could add is to uh, kind of get rid of that and go back to where you were. Say if you have like your your, your samples open here, and then you Double click and then you want to drop in uh, Serum, it'll drop that in and then you're just like, okay, where do I go again? So it's kind of one of those things. But anyway, so you may notice that I have uh, other uh, VSTs. I want to add in FabFilter uh, Pro Q3 because that's an EQ that I use quite a bit. Uh, you can add that in. They don't necessarily scan um, your VSTs. Uh, there could be a function that could do that, but for now we have to add that in via text. So on Mac, in the top right, you will have, um, I'm assuming, the uh, Enhancement Suite logo. And on Windows, uh, there's a thing in your um, icon bar that looks kind of looks like Ableton. Uh, and what you do is you right-click on that, and you want to go to Configure Menu. And I'm sure this will be improved in the future, but uh, this will pop up. And this is, I guess, what the uh, the menu is. And uh, for each kind of um, thing you want in the menu, uh, you have to have a name for it, and then a name that uh, you want, you know, the, the the browser to search for, right? So Serum, you want Serum. We can name this to anything we want. It'll say, okay, uh, Serum X64 VST. It'll find that drum rack. You don't need to name anything else. Drum rack, it knows what it is. Uh, and this is the uh, subgroup of instrument. This is effects. And uh, inside effects, there's EQ and things like that. And uh, all that fun stuff. And you can have uh, a lot of subgroups and things like that and have things in, you know, no category, which is a category. But yeah, let's add let's add something to effects. So something that I use a lot, yeah, is uh, FabFilter Pro Q3. And uh, this is case sensitive. So I'm going to be... Extra careful fab filter pro dash two base three. Uh, I guess that will be the the name of the uh, thing here. And then I'm going to go quote fab filter pro quote base vst. And uh, no, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just call this let's just call this pro q. Oops. This is called this Pro Q3. So we take that, we save it, and double click on our menu here. Cross your finger. Let's let's go over here so there's no cheating. Double click, double right click, effects, Pro Q3. That's the name that we chose. Click on it. Success. That's in there. It's case sensitive, uh, so you know you gotta you gotta know that. And uh, yeah, it just makes it uh, super duper um, easy, essentially. And uh, yeah, you can have different things going on. So that is uh, that browser uh, kind of functionality. You know, you can add in MIDI and things like that. Uh, you can open up the README as well. Uh, but let's get into, I guess, more of the 
more of the, I guess, nitty gritty. Um, the uh, the ability to to draw in notes. So this is this is pretty cool. So let's uh, let's get this open here. So I'm going to right click and insert a MIDI clip here. So in uh, in Ableton, um, you move the uh, the mouse here. You're not able to draw in uh, notes. In order to draw in notes, you have to press the B button to select the draw tool, and then you can draw in notes. And uh, that's all well and good. Um, it's pretty pretty neat, and there's a grid there, pretty awesome. Let's just set it to 16th. And uh, yeah, that's all well and good. But if you hold the uh, tilde key, which is the one left of the one button, uh, you can actually draw notes in like so, which is pretty neat. And you can, you know, make them long and short. And uh, this is uh, a pretty good kind of, I guess, you know, the possibility. And it makes uh, it, it, it's really easy to get used to, and it makes things uh, pretty pretty nice getting those notes in. Another cool thing is uh, you can, let's see here, double right click, you can select scales, which is pretty cool. So say, let's do a, uh, uh, no, let's do a chord first. We'll do chords and then I'll show you scales. So uh, let's say I want a minor, a minor chord, or let's go a major seven. So I want a major seven and uh, I'll just basically select the root note and then check this magic out. Boom, Does, it did that. And it did that like super duper quick. And uh, you have like super fast chords that you can put in. And um, what else can you do? Yeah, let's, let's just do another one. I wish it like held the memory of the, no, I guess that wouldn't make sense to hold the memory of the last chord. But yeah, if we select the chord, uh, another one, uh, we can do major nine. Let's just see what that sounds like, right? And then I'll have that down like that. So another chord and uh, Super fast, super fun, super easy. And let's bring that down. And you can make like really cool things like that. And then you have like a, a quick, uh, quick and easy reference to uh, what you want to do. So another another cool thing uh, that you can do in this is uh, you can have chords within your uh, uh, clip uh, piano roll thing, your MIDI clip. So. How this works is it's not like I thought that it would replace each key with a different chord, but that's that's not that's not really uh, that's not really possible. So what you do is you double right click, go to scales, and then we'll pick a Dorian something weird, and uh, we'll just select the root note. And what that will do is that will kind of it'll select um, it'll it'll add a MIDI note for each. Uh, note in that scale uh, starting at the root note so let's do that boom boom boom. so that's that so there's that so what you do um, I guess the uh, the famous kind of Ableton way of going about it is to yeah kind of duplicate and then you know you can do this up and down as much as you want so let's just kind of do that they all kind of start at a and then we go fold and uh, what this does and uh, you know another another trick, you can have the uh, you can have the, the turn off loop actually. You can move these out of the out of the way, so you don't actually need to kind of you know look at them, but uh, it keeps the fold kind of context where you need to have it. So from here, yeah, every every note uh, contextually makes sense with the scale that you chose. And it's super, super easy to kind of draw in ideas and things like that. And here I am double clicking when I can just hold tilde and click it in. But yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a really interesting way of uh, going about things and getting notes down. Um, and yeah, that's one. Of, that's one of the. That's one of the cool features. And yeah, it just it doesn't involve. Doesn't involve anything with Max for Live. Doesn't involve, you know, you know, putting on cool sunglasses and, you know, hacking the EXE. Um, it just does some other stuff. So, and there's and there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of other things you can do, uh, but you know, and I'm sure more things will get added. But those are like the the main kind of um, noteworthy things 
um, you know, this is super lightweight and it just starts every time you open Windows and it just adds that cool functionality. And if you don't want to use it, it's not it's not there. It's not going to bother you. So yeah, that is the, I guess that's the video on the uh, live enhancement suite. Um, it is free. Uh, you can get it at enhancementsuite.me. And uh, yeah, free download, uh, Windows and Mac, Ableton, Ableton 9, 10, and 10.1. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it doesn't work in Windows 7. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's 9, 10, and 10.1. So it works for all of them. And um, it works for every skin and things like that. And, you know, sky's the limit with this sort of thing. But, you know, it's, it's a neat little uh, utility. And who knows, if this becomes popular, maybe uh, Ableton will incorporate some of this functionality. Here's to hoping. Um, mainly the uh, piano, piano roll thing going on here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.